at my car. A propane truck. I'll show you. This propane truck just tried to hit my car. He came over on me. I don't know if what I had said recorded or not. This propane truck tried to come over on me, which I show you. <sighs> so mad, like, don't mess with my family, don't mess with my car. Like I'm, I'm that person. We were talking about Sam's Club grocery pickup. <music> a year from now everything you're stressing about won't mean shit little story I had this board at my in my office at work and I put this saying on here probably about a month prior to me losing um, the job that I had since we moved to Georgia so I had been at this place of employment for five years and a few months so I kept this up I brought it home I put it on my dresser which is right over there and I've had this up and it took a very long time for me to feel like this about losing that job so here we are at what is it it's april yeah so we are about three months shy of two years since i lost that job two years and this saying right here has been on this board since. We're gonna change it today. So, it's time. This saying doesn't really apply to me as much anymore. There's always days. But for the most part, this, this right here isn't me, isn't my life. So we're going to change it and I'm going to show you what we're going to change it to. Okay guys, this is what it was changed to. Never doubt yourself. Exclamation point looks a little janky. I always struggle with like the spacing. But considering this is over almost two years in the making of changing. It's fine. And in case you're wondering, oh, he's right there. He is never far from me. Are you mister? Mister. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? But yeah, guys, I truly just wanted to record this, uh, just because it's, <sighs> it took so long. But this is the truth, never doubt yourself. Never. Oh, this is horrible. I am so yellow. Hmm. Okay, so just a little about that sign and how it came about and everything. So where I worked, they had threatened, literally threatened, to decorate your office if you didn't do it and it was supposed to be all this motivational stuff 
and my mindset back then wasn't good um i wasn't on youtube recording or anything at that time uh but my mindset was very dark because by that point in time i should have left this place two to three years before it ended and I knew that I should but at the same time I didn't walk away because of money and see that's the second time in my life that that's happened so I knew better and I would tell my husband all the time that I'm ready but it is what it is at this point however the reason that saying that about a year from now the shit you're stressing about won't mean anything was because of that. Because of the mindset and how stressed I always was. And just how much I hated going there. However, but when I got let go because it wasn't on my choice, that caused problems. Especially seeing how... There was one guy there longer than me, and he was a friend of the owner and had been there, I think, like 10 years at that time. And I was sitting at five. That was it. And I had ran that place. The reason that they were cash flow positive was because of me. And I do say that, and I do mean that, because it's just what I do just as I've done the same with where I currently work at. But it's a better place now. I'm in a better place now. I'm at a better company. I am happier. When I started in construction, I started in concrete. So I've always had a weird fascination with concrete. Basically because it's instant results. And I'm that type of person. <laughs> so I had always wanted to get back into concrete. That's always been the goal. And it finally happened in 2019. So we're thankful for that. But I just want to, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you guys some of the other things I had hung up in my office when they decided they wanted to do motivational and I took it upon myself. If that's what the requirement is to do then we're gonna do motivational but we're gonna do it my way I'm not gonna do it with you putting some rinky dinky thing out that doesn't represent me so let me show you okay so this is one of them enjoy the little things and I think this is a 11 by 20 I'm pretty sure So these next two, all of these that I'm going to show you, I took and hung up in our bedroom. I'm probably going to take them down because I want something different for here. But that one is Hustle. And then this one says Follow Your Dreams. Now, these two I got from Essie. So it, did I have the Christy as well. And then let's see, okay, these two. Both of these are, I believe they're both 11 by 20. They're, I got those from Etsy. And then I did have, I had that hung up for a while. And then I had this one. Uh, I don't, I think I got him from Groupon. And then my son got me this one, it's the little thing. It's being very washed out by this light and it's more of a gray color, like concrete gray. 